Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Rock Kela and currently I'm a mathematics teacher. Now let's see if it's given that a plus b plus c is equal to pi and let's see how to show that sine a by 2 plus sine b by 2 plus sine c by 2 is what is given on the RHS. Now my sincere advice to all of you, please start from the RHS for this sort of, please start from the RHS. So that's what I'm going to do. So the question is there at the top of every slide so that you could refer it at any point of time. So this is my so this is my condition. Okay, a plus b plus c is equal to pi. I'm gonna mark it as one because I'm going to use it as a at a later stage. Okay. Now this is my RHS. This is my RHS. Now observe what I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write this four as two into two. Okay. And I'm gonna group two sine pi minus a by four or sine pi minus b by four like this. One plus two into like this. Everything's clear. Next. Two sine a sine b. Two sine a sine b. What is two sine a sine b? It's actually cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. Okay. 2 sin a sin b is nothing but cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. In place of a and b, if you observe, it's in the form 2 sin a sin b. In place of a and b, I have pi minus a and pi minus b. That's it. You could see there's no other change. So I have cos of a minus b, basically pi minus a by 4 minus of pi minus b by 4 minus cos of pi minus a by 4 plus pi minus b. By 4. Okay. Sounds good till here. Now let's go. Let's go ahead. If I'll multiply this minus, if you'll observe the denominators are same. So basically, I can perform the op, uh, respective operations on numerators. So uh, this minus would get multiplied to this. So I have minus pi plus b. So this would be nothing but a, uh, pi minus a minus pi plus b, and this would be two pi minus of a plus b. Okay, pi plus pi will be two pi, two pi minus of a plus b. Everything else the same. Fine. Now this pi and minus pi would get cancelled and left out with cos. Here I'd be left out with cos of b minus a by 4 minus. Now here what I'm going to do is here I'm going to split the denominator to these two terms. Like I'd have 2 pi by 4 minus of a plus b by 4. Now 2 and uh, 2 would get cancelled. I'd be left out with I mean 2 and uh, uh, 4 would like uh, sort of cancel each other. I mean 2 ones are 2 twos are. So ultimately I'd get pi by 2 here when I split the denominator. Like 2 pi by 4 is nothing but pi by 2 okay minus of a plus b by 4. all good till here now uh cos of uh, b minus a by 4 i can write it as cos of a minus b by 4 because cos of minus theta is cos theta fine and also what is cos pi by 2 minus theta what is cos pi by 2 minus theta it is sine theta okay so basically that's why i have sine of a plus b by 4 here and here i have a minus b by 4 okay, you can just Reverse it. If you basically, I'm taking minus common here. I have minus of a minus b by four, and it's cos of minus theta. Cos theta. This is what I have. All good. Let's go ahead. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this sine pi minus c by four, which is at the end. You see, to both of the terms, and also the two also I'm going to multiply to both of the terms. So ultimately, I'm left out with this one plus two cos a minus b by four into sine pi minus c by four. Minus 2 sine a plus b by 4 sine pi minus c by 4. Okay, now again, again, here I'm going to apply two formulae. What is 2 cos a sine b? 2 cos a sine b is nothing but sine of a plus b minus sine a minus b. Okay, and what is minus 2 sine a sine b? It is cos of a minus b uh, minus cos, I'm sorry, cos of a plus b minus cos a minus b. Okay, these two formulae you can see it here. Okay, fine. I guess it will take some explanation. See, minus two sine b is minus two sine a sine b is nothing but cos of a plus b minus of cos a minus b. Okay. Now again, I'll explain this part again. I know it's a bit tough. See, let's go step by step. Okay, two cos a sine b, two cos a sine b is nothing but as I mentioned, in play uh, sine uh, sine of a plus b minus sine a minus b. So basically. In place of a and b, have a minus b by 4 and pi minus c by 4. Okay. So this is why I have sine of a plus b minus sine a minus b. Okay. As I mentioned, in place of a, I have a minus b by 4. In place of b, I have pi minus c by 4. So that's how it is. Next. Next. Minus 2 sine a sine b. Okay. Minus 2 sine a sine b. I'm including the minus sign also. Minus 2 sine a sine b is nothing but cause of a plus b minus cos a minus b. In place of a and b, I have a plus b by 4 and pi minus c by 4. So that's why I have this cos a plus b, cos a plus b minus cos a minus b. In place of a, I have a plus b by 4 
and in place of b i have pi minus c by 4 so everything clear up till now let's proceed now next next let's start simplifying uh, here as usual you see the denominators are matching in all the respective brackets so we can basically start our uh, operations on numerators fine this is what you will land up with t a minus b plus pi minus c how i'm writing it as you see uh, a plus pi minus of b plus b, okay minus b minus c i'd get in the numerator so that i have just written it as minus of b plus c okay now next here you observe this minus sign would get multiplied to both the terms so i have minus pi minus of minus c is plus c so that's why i have a plus c minus pi minus b okay a plus c minus pi minus b i just group the positive terms to one side and negative terms to one side okay this would actually be a minus b minus pi plus c what i did is i brought c at the beginning and minus pi minus b fine now let's go ahead here a plus b plus pi minus c this i just wrote it like this now you might be wondering why i wrote a plus b as pi minus c why did suddenly a plus b become pi minus c if you remember it's given it was given in the beginning that a plus b plus c is nothing but equal to pi so a plus b i can write it as pi minus c if i'll send c to the other side that's why here i marked it as from one from one so a plus b i can write it as pi minus c next here here what i would get is a plus b minus pi plus c so i just rearranged it a little and wrote it as a plus b plus c minus pi everything's clear up till now let's go ahead now b plus c b plus c i can write it as pi minus c just as i wrote a plus b as pi minus c b plus c i can write it as pi minus c and a plus c i can write it as pi minus b okay and a plus b plus c i can write it as pi so these substitutions are what you will see in the next slide okay so in place of b plus c you you will see pi minus a in place of uh, uh, a plus c you will see here pi minus b and in place of uh, a plus b plus c there is a pi again i marked it as from one because i am using the condition which, which is given at one now uh, if you'll observe if you'll observe uh, this is like cos pi minus c by four plus plus pi minus c by four so this would be nothing but two times pi minus c by four okay so that's why i wrote it like this okay now next here if i were to tell you this would be nothing but minus pi plus a this would be pi and minus pi would get cancelled what is minus b plus minus what is minus b minus b minus b plus minus b it's minus 2b so here i have minus sine minus 2b by 4 and pi minus pi would get cancelled ultimately i'm left out with 0 cos 0 by 4 or cos 0 just cos 0 that's what i have in the next step and here minus pi plus a okay pi and minus pi would get cancelled and then my okay don't forget to you know expand the uh, the bracket before you know you uh, cancel it off otherwise it would be just minus a minus everything would, you would get zero okay don't do such a mistake so i have a plus pi a plus pi minus pi plus a so a plus a would be 2a by 4 as i mentioned here minus 2b by 4 and here here two ones are two twos are so pi minus c by 2, this I am writing it as pi by 2 minus c by 2. Okay? Pi minus c by 2, I just split the 2, two, two, two uh, uh, such that I get this. I mean split the denominator to two terms such that I got pi by 2 minus c by 2 and this cause 0. Now here uh, two, two, two ones are, two twos are and here again two ones are, two twos are. Okay, And again cos pi by 2 minus c by 2 is nothing but sin c by 2. Okay, And cos 0 is one now if you'll observe plus one and minus one would get cancelled and then sine of minus theta is minus sine theta already there is a minus in the beginning so minus into minus will be plus so ultimately i have sine a by two plus sine b by two plus sine c by two. Oh, that was a long a bit uh, tough right yeah i know uh, in case if you want you can just watch this again so thank you very much for staying with me until here not just this question, I've made many more questions related to trigonometry. You can find the link for all those questions in the description. I've kept the playlist link. It will be available in the description. And if you like this video solution, please hit the like button. It will encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please subscribe to it. Once again, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raoul Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher.